In this new video series, we will build a complete full-stack finance dashboard application with TypeScript, Next.js, Auth0, Prisma, Recharts, and Tailwind CSS. Today, I will guide you through the initial project setup using T3 Stacks CLI tool. Let's get started by opening up the command line and calling the following command. We will name the project finance dashboard and use TypeScript. We will enable Prisma for OEM and Tailwind for styling. We won't use Next Auth or TRPC. Instead of Next Auth, we will be using Auth0, but more about that in the future videos. After initializing the Git repository and running the npm install, we will create our SQLite database using npx prisma db push command. We will talk more about databases in the future videos, but basically, SQLite is simple, fast, relational database engine that saves all the data into the file. Uh, it's perfect for quick prototyping, uh, but later on we'll be switching to a cloud-based database. That's basically it. Let's run npm run dev and see what we got. Boilerplate page that we'll throw away in the next video. The code structure includes Prisma folder with DB SQL Lite file and schema file with a boilerplate example model. The pages directory has the app entry point component and index.tsx with boilerplate HTML. The server directory has the b.ts file that exports Prisma client and styles with global CSS and Tailwind setup. Tailwind CSS is utility first CSS framework packed with various classes, but it does not contain any ready to use UI components like buttons, models, um, checkboxes, etc. For that purpose, we'll use Daisy UI components. Daisy UI is a free plugin for Tailwind CSS. Components are implemented with pure CSS, which is a bit unusual for React or Next.js apps, but we'll see how it goes. To install Daisy UI, we'll use npm install Daisy UI command. After that, open Tailwind config file and require Daisy UI in Tailwind plugins array. Daisy UI comes with a number of themes, and for our project, we'll be using the night theme. Once this is done, Daisy UI components are ready to be used. That's it for the initial project setup. We are ready to start building our finance dashboard application. In the next video, we'll clean up the T3 boilerplate HTML and create the application layout with the header and basic navigation. 